dear daughter, that's the way we vampires used to behave in ages long past. Our ancestors would drain each other of blood instead of drinking it from Dracolon's organic rivers and streams. How barbaric. Yes, Vlad has slaughtered hundreds, perhaps thousands. It's no wonder I'm under pressure to resurrect the death penalty. I pray it won't come to that. Do you truly, Ella? Of course, Father. We're civilized people. We're not monsters like Vlad and his cult. Ella, I've raised you well, stepdaughter. But the council isn't so forgiving. And in the case of this Vlad, I can't say I blame them. What's that for? For being the wisest man at Draculon. And the fairest. I'll see you at mid-break. Vampires from space. Look. Holy crap. Holy. All things held sacred. Crap. Waste matter discharged from animal bowels. A popular slang for an extreme negative. You're speaking colloquial English. More or less. Go on, get out of here! Get help! Leave the boy alone. You don't want to mess with us, Miss TNA. Gee, thanks. No offense, but are you some kind of... What's your name? Ella. My name was Ella. That was a very long time ago. Ackerman. Miss? Can you imagine what it's like to fall asleep? And when you wake up, it isn't the following morning. Or even later in the week. It's an eternity. Thirty centuries separate me from everything I ever knew. Or loved. They had to be followed, tracked down. No matter how high the price, I was prepared to pay it. Understand? All of them. Vlad, Demos, Trax. Trax? Professor Arnold Trax. Now, tell me, when you find this guy, Professor Trax, what are you gonna do to him? Kill him, of course. <laughs> of course. Right. Good luck. Oh, I almost forgot something. Farewell. Uh. 
Bella. The vampire girl. Vampirella. Trex. Who are you? An avenging angel. Fragment of your sinful youth, Professor Trex. My stepfather was the High Elder of Dracula. You and your people murdered him. Yes, I remember. I'm sorry. Truly sorry. Then tell me where Vlad is. I don't know, I swear I don't. Vlad and I lost touch with each other ages ago. That's the truth. Your family? My current family, yes. Maybe I'll let them live. Then again. Maybe I won't. On this planet is vampirism a mockery of itself. That's Vlad's doing. My stepfather's people were noble. They'd sooner die than taste innocent blood. And you? What keeps you alive? Vengeance. And something I was told in another life. A dream is realized, daughter. A serum substitute for blood, a high quality synthetic nutrient. Our scientists developed it to save the drought stricken southern provinces. I've micro-sized a lifetime supply and attached it to this armband. Thank you, mother. I know that you don't approve, but this journey is something that I have to do. I know. As hard as it is for me to lose both of you, 
I agree with your decision. This is the real you. Not some bookish schoolgirl trying to measure up to your father's ideals. But a woman of action. We'll see. Hey, uh, hey. <clears throat> Jose, Jose. Our immortal souls are the same. I sensed it the first time we met. So did you. Move again and I'll blow the doctor's face off. You'll become terribly thirsty in the next few hours. You were right, Father. Vengeance drove me to this distant planet. But something even stronger holds me here. Although Vlad is dead, his children of the night live on. Perhaps in time, they will renounce his legacy of hate and learn to live in harmony with the humans of this world. Perhaps it's my destiny to show them the way.